<laughs> yeah. DJ. What I feel like the volume's low. You got big fingers today, dog? Nah. Nah. No big fingers. We got DJ Arthritis in the building. <laughs> on the one. <laughs> We also got, we got Frank on the one, not on the, the one, two, not the, the one. two, the two hurts a little bit too much. Just I didn't take one. my medicine this morning, so we only on the one, the index, no middle, word, no pinky, word, no word. thumb, no ring. I hear I that. I just named all the fingers. We also got, no uh, hesitation. We also got Franco in the building. Frank. Shout out, shout out to Franco. Frank O. Frank dot O dot. Do you know why that's his name? No. I'm guessing a joke a no. running with Frank Ocean. No, it's not a joke, actually. No. Is it really? watching a gangster, American gangster? Yeah, no. Just Francis is his middle name. Oh. Uh, okay. I, was, I thought I was giving you some OG shout outs. You know, some Frank Lucas. <laughs> something. When, we, when no. we get a bigger budget, we'll put, your, uh, we'll, we'll put you on camera. All right. Yeah. You're like <laughs> Parks right now. That's exactly what we were saying. Except, except, well, he's like Jamie right now. Except you don't get a microphone. I can't you just kind of hear like a faint mumble. Then maybe he'll cuss you out. <laughs> Their friends like, who's he cussing nah, out? I don't, I'm not that committed to editing. Oh, I'll cuss you out. <laughs> <laughs> One of us. Word. Welcome back, everybody. Hi. <clears throat> Season two, 10 second reviews. Or, yeah. Uh, Numero dos. Whatever this is. <laughs> it's something. It's All something. Right. Yeah. All right. It's All me. right. You see it. What, you know um, what it is. You know who I am. Hold up. Can you pull up the score? Did you start the timer yet? <laughs> yeah, you start the timer. See, man, look. First day on the job. Assistant producer. Struggling. It's all good, though. You made me start it. Huh? So why are you laughing? Mm. Mm. You mm. said pull up the score for the game. Oh. Oh, yeah. Nothing. No, I'm dead serious. We, yeah. Oh, okay. The Nep- game is on. All right. What? Mm. what um, mm. Nepotism. Listen. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm, nepotism is great when people are qualified. It is. No, when you, when you nepotize people that are incompetent, that's a different story. No, nah, it's nasty. It gets nasty out yeah. there. I was just joking, but yeah, it gets nasty out here. It's all good. People just got homies in here because they homies. It's like, oh, that's the homie. He means well, but he does bad. Yeah, no, I don't, yeah, no. No, I already know. I already know. What are we doing today? What are we semi doing today? What are we talking? But what? Uh, yeah. So what's, what's it? Um, I put some choices out there. We can do. We could do those, or we could do something else. What do you want to do? It don't matter either way. Let's do. I kind of want to do something that's not crazy. You're not trying to hear money back yo and black youngster? Not really. I don't half the time I don't know what black youngster's saying. Whore. <laughs> Cause like <laughs> Can I get a whore? Yeah, he's like uh Elmer Fudd mixed in with yo, uh you're stupid. What's his face? He's Elmer know. Thud mixed in with uh the pig. Did you just say Elmer Thug? He is Elmer Thug. Now that is a rap name. Yeah, Elmer Thug. That would be a hard rap name, Elmer Thug. You just got to have like a mean lisp and only talk about hunting. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Except it's like I'm hunting these tweets. <laughs> I, don't even, dow, dow, dow. I, don't even, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm hunting these tweets. I don't even know what to say right now. Moving they though. Uh, but let's, All right, let me, let's go back to it. Let's go back to it. Let's go back to it. We might as well do it. Let's see what Alicia got going on. Oops, I didn't mean to like it already. Yeah, I mean, why not? It's always about to be 40 albums. So. All right, hold on. First of, all, first, of, first of all, it's 15. Okay. It's 15. It's only but 15. But also. How long are they? We only listen to 10 seconds. It don't matter. <laughs> I know, but I'm trying to make a point. Alicia uh, Keys has not dropped the project in a minute, and she's the type of artist where I feel high like. Threes, high threes. High threes. High threes. High threes. Low fours. All right. So solid songs. All right, we could do some Alicia. Can you can let's you gra- do some can you gra- Alicia? I need a paper. Can you grab a sheet of paper? It's in the white box. <clears throat> Today's album, Alicia, by Alicia Keys. What they call that? Eponymous. Say that one more time. My scratching zoned you out. Eponymous, like yeah. E P O N Y M O U S. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Not to be confused with posthumous. You got it. You Wait, got it's it. A sheet of paper here. 
No, I'm, I'm, no I'm good. we don't make mistakes. No, we don't. <laughs> One take Drake's out here until you showed up. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what he signed up for. Not even a little bit. Oh, God. No All one right. ever knows. But yeah, we got Alicia today. He said it's 15 tracks, so I'm going to believe that because I'm too far from the computer to uh, qualify it. What? <laughs> One day we'll modify that. You know what, though? She did not uh, take advantage of the good... Um... Oh, she's old school, man. She's like, I don't need that moving shit. Here's and four pictures of me. The animated cover. <laughs> yeah. Here's four pictures of me from every angle. Just look just look from one to the other. Yeah. This is me. I like that, too, though. That's hilarious. It's going to be funny with this in the background. Oh, yeah. It's just going to be her. <laughs> we should just, like, every time... I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> All right. I was going to think so, too uh, hard. Yeah, 15 tracks. 54 minutes, 59 seconds. <clears throat> came out this past Friday. Yeah. Two days ago. Yeah. It's the 20th. Yeah. Track one, Truth yeah. Without Love. Let me make sure this is actually connected right. Yep. Let's go. Let me just press and play on Conway. I that sounds sound. mean, though. No. No, I'm giving that a green off rip, even though it was mad static. You know, she had Swizzy in there. I don't know if that static was I did that. It or... again. You said what? I did it again. <laughs> you sure you don't want a mic stand for No. The only way to learn is through action. Also, Franco, how does my uh, how does my voice sound in the headphones? See, he's not even paying attention. Man, you fired. It's faint. <laughs> you fired. Am I supposed to answer in 25 seconds? Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes. You're supposed to be locked in. I still don't know what the score of the game is. You need a mustache. It's I'm just looking at he your has face. A mustache. Not thick enough. He got to turn. You got to turn the light on so you can see it. I'm not gonna mess. Okay. You know Maybe the shadow is throwing me there off. There you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. It's Forty to thirty-five. Who's up? LA, of course. Come on. Of, of course, these. Okay. Of course, these five games. Yes. At least six. Yeah. Anyways. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's going green. That's a strong green. green. It's a oh, Kelly green. green. It sounded um <laughs> like the intro on I want to say the Love Below. I don't know if you remember the first song off the Love Below. It was very floral. No, I and don't actually. Beautiful. It sounded a lot like that. My primary memory from the Love Below is when the, I told you the story before, because my freshman year of college and we were walking to the cab and like. Half of us took the handicap ramp and half of oh, us took the stairs. Yeah, and that was just y'all. That, yeah. yeah. This is, we are the love below. Yeah. 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 Speaker box. <laughs> the love below. Oh, sorry. Nah, yeah. yeah. To y'all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> See? I'm joking. It's all good. But no, yeah, that's green. Number one is green. All right. Track two. Time machine. Yo, I'm waiting for like a like a forty bass to come in, and like I'm waiting to hear Drake in his feels. Either that, or I'm waiting for her to come in, and give me some like thirty six year old vocals in a twenty two year old's body. What? Her, the singer. H e r. I don't. What, what do you mean by the correlation? Yeah, Cause she's young as hell, but she sounds seasoned as hell. What do you? Hold on. Bro, have no, you ever listened to her voice? Can you look how, how old Alicia Keys is, please? I said her. Oh, I thought you meant her. I no, meant her like, oh, I okay. even spelled it out. I said H E R. Bro, twenty two years old. You got to, I don't know, say the artist or something. I don't I'm know. Sorry, I don't know. You threw me. I feel you. Cause my you bad. said artist, so I said artist. I got you. I'm my bad. I yeah. When you said I'm waiting for her to come in, I thought you meant like I'm waiting. You like for I'm waiting coming. for Drake. I was like I'm waiting for her. Come on, man. To come this is in. this is the world. This is 2020. <clears throat> this is the world of pronouns. You know, this is like, the world of pronouns, but it's also this. a world <laughs> of knowing. Ju- you're just supposed to just know what I mean. I because it's because that's the world we live in too. Because it's all these pronouns. We're all right. To after just we know. get after we get past like 50, okay. When we get past like 50 episodes, I'll whatever. Be all right, bro. Whatever. See 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 what see, track three. See, we didn't even give it a rating yet. Green. Oh, damn. I agree. It's, I hope it has that 40 base. Of course it does. It doesn't come in like that in 2020 without the 40 base. Uh, 
I'm going to give that a green. All right. All right. Track three, Authors of Forever. Oh. Well, I was a big fan of that song that Sway Lee and Post Malone did for the Spidey verse, and that sounds a lot like that tempo, mm. except it sounds like it's from an artist that's an actual artist, so I'll probably appreciate this song a lot. So I'll go blue off the strength of I'm not going to listen to it every day, but if I heard it, I'll let it rock. Fair. I feel, I feel, like, I feel like she's trying to go like 2020 Sade on it. That's what it felt like to me. Believable. Very believable. I'm not gonna be surprised if I don't if I hear this on an episode of Insecure though. Or sure? uh you, no, you yeah, watch just Insecure? A, sometimes. Sometimes. It's a good oh, show. I'll I'll give you the it's I ain't it's seen a, it. I ain't got HBO. Put it this way, it's an interesting show to watch when you have a lot of female friends that are over the age of twenty three. What? It's an interesting show to watch this when you that. have a lot of female friends over the age of twenty three. I'm gonna tell you something tell y'all something about Tariq. I'm a very specific person. What he said sounds like it makes no sense. But I'm pretty sure to someone who watches Insecure, it makes perfect sense. Oh, it makes absolute sense. I don't watch Insecure. I have no idea what, what that could possibly mean. But I understand that when I watch an episode, I'm going to be Look, like, oh, this is what he meant. After this episode, just wait till the comments. People are going to be like, I know exactly what he's talking about. He's spot yeah, on. Yeah, because you're going to tell all your friends that jump in the comments and be like, <laughs> No. I agree. I no. agree. It's gonna be some random chick that I don't know. It's like he knows exactly. I got girlfriends. Just at, my sister's twenty five, four or five. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's in between the ages of twenty four and thirty, but um, she watches Insecure. She be like, I got friends like such as that. Got friends like ah, da, 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 da. It's just like that's just it's just, that's what this show is about. It's about young black women trying to like live in L A. And do their own thing, but they still like young black women, so they be doing dumb shit every now and then, like stupid relationship stuff. And then are good you, relationship. Are you stuff. suggesting that young black women just do stupid shit? I preface that, with them trying to at? live in LA. Is that what we're, we're doing right now? Tariq? Literally preface. Is that what them we're doing on the Lord's Day? Live in LA. Is that what we're doing on the Lord's Day, Tariq? Look, it's like an hour until it's Monday. <laughs> it's not so that late. We're being technical. If we're being technical. Whatever. All right. Anyways, I got a blue. Speaking of yeah, which, I'll go blue. <clears throat> are are we gonna are we gonna give him the math today? Or you still gotta marinate on that? It's the all math. Good. Huh? The math. Yeah. See, you forgot already. Where's the other Oh sheet? no, I know exactly what you're talking about. I was thinking about it. Yeah. Um we uh, yeah, today will be cool because it's a, a number that's perfect. Oh, touche. Touche. Yeah. Touche. It's a perfect number. It's not like seventeen. It's like, ugh. I mean I mean you could do it with seventeen, but like this makes it easy. Uh, we'll and, find out. Like fans will be able to catch on faster, because probably you should have seen Homie's face when I told him the first time. He was like, "What?" And I was like, "It's it's, it's out of a low number." Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see, uh, all right. Track four, "Wasted Energy" featuring Diamond Platinums. Mm. Don't we all know about Wasted Energy? This one says explicit. I think there's going to be some bars. Probably by Diamond Platinum. Of course. Oh, we can't. This sounded like it. Nah, it's not. It's nah. We only nope. got ten. Can't do seconds, that. It's ten, man. bro. You know if I you love. Want, oh. If you want to hear the rest, you gotta got the good reggae I breakdown. Love, you want to hear more? Go ahead, pull it up. I love a good after the show's over. Oh, I love a good Alicia reggae breakdown. Jeez. That was hard. Yeah, that's a green for me. I, yeah, it was like I was. I was, it was losing me, and then I felt the breakdown, and I was like, all right. I was vibing because I was like. There's a there's obviously something hard coming in the way this started out, nah. and then doom, 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 doom. oh yeah, no nah, that's right. that's gonna be that. Bop. Is that a green? Yeah, that's gonna be that bop. I'm excited. I'm excited. <clears throat> All right. What quarter is it? I know you're over there watching it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, track five, <laughs> underdog. Nah, that gets a white for me. 
I can't argue with that. Yeah, it sounds like she's. I'm not. Um, not a big fan of that. Yeah, that sounds like a. Uh, Taylor Swift wrote that one. Oh yeah. It's like you don't got to be that diverse. Oh, whoever should. writes for Taylor Swift. Yeah, you could just be diverse in the black community. Wasn't um. Wasn't Party in the USA a Taylor Swift song? Uh, that was Miley Cyrus. Uh, oh, all right, never mind. I knew it was Miley Cyrus, but I was like, Taylor Swift might have wrote it. I don't know. Nah, she didn't write it, but that was a great song. I don't it care was. what the wife says. No, Party in the USA was a quality song. Yeah, 100%. Jay's on my feet, trash. Get that out of here. Oh, I didn't even hear that. That was the joint where Miley Cyrus was like in the Michael Jordan onesie with Mike Will made it like, yeah. <laughs> and it was like, who let you in? <laughs> who who, who let you in? Yeah, who, how'd you get in here? All right, so we gave five away. Yeah, five's a a dub. All right, <clears throat> three hour drive featuring Samfa. I love. Oh, yes. I already know it's gonna. Ah, oh. right. you okay? You need an ice pack? I love Samfa. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Is it Samfa or Samfa? Samfa. Oh, all right. Yeah. Just 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 play it. Relax. Not gonna lie, most of these joints, I'd be forgetting I have to stop it at ten seconds because I'm I'm I'm, zone, let, I'm zone. That vibe just zone just, zone zone. Ugh, green. I took ah green. Oh yeah, add that in the notes. We gotta find a, a clip of Swizzy saying zone zone zone. Yeah. Also, we gotta <laughs> we gotta get a button with Swiss Beats where he was talking to Bus Bus on uh, IG Live about Drake. Where he's just like, niggas been pussy for a long time. What's up? <laughs> that has to be a trap. <laughs> just because Swiss was drunk I'm with it I'm with it And Buzz was just like Ooh. But uh, yeah that's green I already know I could tell I, I can I'm listening to that tonight Oh my god I'm excited Yeah I got a good I got a good hour in the car Oh man I'm excited Alright What's next Track 7 Me Time 7 Featuring Tierra Whack Me myself I just all I got This one is end. 3 minutes and this 33 seconds down, And it ain't no real <laughs> crap This one uh, uh, now I won't, I'm gonna be my own best friend. Yeah. You know, that was actually the only Beyonce song that I liked for a long time. But I thought it was like one of her best ones. It's definitely one of her best ones. Like I'm talking about like like not not a close second. You know why? Define a long time. Like y- years. Give me a, years. Like not until was... not until like uh whatever the the exclusive joint was. That was um which exclusive joint? The first one where I think it was like only on Apple Music or something like that. That might have been to Beyonce, I don't remember. But it oh. was like because my my issue with her is that like she's she's technically gifted, but she doesn't like emote to me. And so I think that was one of the first times like I actually felt some emotion from a record and I was like, This is amazing. And then like the next one was just like meh and I was like, Alright, forget it. Yeah, she's like elegantly she's an elegant singer. She's a very graceful singer. She's not like a a feeling singer i think that's what people get because her voice the way she tries to sing it's very like, yeah but uh, i don't think that that should <clears throat> prevent you from being able to emote it shouldn't because I, mean, I mean music is to communicate feeling right some true, kind of feeling but it is also when you look at like families like her when you have a talent yeah you you like ex like you just like exasperate that talent based on the talent like like she has people write for her she writes but she also has people write for her yeah so if you're a singer you can't have nobody sing for you you can't but like like if you if you just ain't got no story you just ain't got no stories <laughs> like yeah, I see you what you're saying, her but life. you still gotta like, like you still gotta you still gotta she's, pick songs that no, like yeah. you can you can connect with. That's the whole point, right? Facts, but you just gotta look at her upbringing, like yeah. So, but like you carry it on to like Lemonade, right? Lemonade is probably the most emotional record, like from yeah, because something front to happened back. to her. So it's so she always been there. About. No, not necessarily. It's just that something like it's one thing to sing something that somebody writes for you because it's good. Yeah. It's another thing you actually feel it because you can relate to it. Like Drake has people write stuff for him that he can also relate to. Like 
he writes too, but I'm saying like he's like like he's lived more of a life, I guess, where he has things that like he can talk about. Like I hear what you're there's saying. There's only one dude that was known to be in a relationship with Beyonce before Jay Z, and all that's known about him is he went to prom with her. Like she yeah, has like and Jay she, caught him slipping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and J- they didn't even catch him slipping. Jay Z just appeared, and it was like, Prom, nah, that was um, Maybach. she wasn't rocking with him, and then like they were on some kind of break, and and you, an inch and a mile, he got his foot in the door, and it was over. Oh wait, the dude that she went to prom with? Yeah, whoever her relationship was before that, they had like some break for like three days or something like that, and like, however, another Jay found out whatever, but once he knew that was going on, he was like, he was right in the pocket. That's what I'm saying, bro. Figuratively like, speaking, she hasn't even had time to mourn. Or like to be sad, bro. The the richest rapper in the world gets on you off three <laughs> days after your break. What you sad about? Yeah. Right, but here's the other here's the other side of it though. Right, so so let me actually let me get your opinion on this. So what I've heard recently and thinking back <laughs> on my relationships is that when a woman decides to leave a relationship, like physically, she's been gone mentally. So like it's not like they had some issues and all of a sudden she's like, ah, there's a break. Like she been knew it wasn't gonna work. And I know from my experience, it's like when all my joints ended, it was like usually like a slow grade and it's just like worse and worse and worse. And you think back on it, it's like, oh yeah, it was clearly like at whatever point this was way back then that they had just checked out. But like we don't always see that. So for me it's like, nah, she knew she was done. Nah, I'd be peeping. That's the difference between me. I'd be watching people's behaviors. You can, behaviors. but like when you in it, oh, you just yeah. like when you in it. No, nah, we gotta make sure it stays, it stays working. That's crazy. I mean, I feel what you're saying, but that just my, my point that is she, she makes, need to mo- she need to mourn. She was done already. There's no mourning necessary. But that's my point. Mornings when the sun comes up. The closest thing that she can relate to is to the left. <laughs> that's my point. I mean, okay. And she was bossed up and to the left. Like, right. Get out. Homeboy's coming. Like, yeah. like see, she, she, is that your chick? Like, she's never had, like, okay. My mom's still here. My dad's still here. They both popping. My sister is popping. Like, there's never been like a, oh, like, she never had no Michelle moments, no Kelly Roller moments. Like, it's like, I'm just, lit. you know, she's filled in some of the, the spots, some of the vocals on B's records, Solange has. I'm not surprised. Like, punched in. Nope. I'm not surprised at all. Support your peoples. All right. But, yeah. Did we even rate this one? What was that? Oh, no. Nah, we we did. We haven't pressed play on seven yet. No. <laughs> Track seven. Me times seven. Tierra Whack. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. so weird because like the melody, yeah. I feel like I'm fami- like it's familiar, but the drums, the tempo, the, the rhythm of the drums is different than what the melody is giving me. So I'm interested in hearing like w- what the percussion actually does, but then also knowing that Tierra likes to pick really different pockets regardless of what the drums are doing makes me feel like the percussion on this is not going to be regular. <laughs> yeah, I was going green just because of how it sounded and knowing that Tierra Whack is on here. It sounds yeah. like that's a pocket for her. That sounds like her tempo. Yeah. Of bars. Yeah. And she she can go fast. And Alicia's going. Actually, I have an idea how it's going to sound. I can't really describe it, but it's probably going to sound exactly how I think it's going to sound. Which is uh yeah, it's going to be a little trap snare, a little like a like a quiet muted but still trap snare. Mhm. Did I say snare twice? Yeah, but you I meant to you, say hat the first time. <laughs> I meant to say hat. A little, so a little, a little trap hat, and it's then it's gonna be the, and it's like it's gonna be one of them like, like you know. Like I got you. Hook, and the drums is gonna be weird, like you said, and then she's just gonna be like, and her weird. Little yeah, I don't, know, pocket, I don't right? like. I can't <laughs> even. I can't even mimic a Tierra Whack flow because her flows just. She flows. She's a rapper. There. She's actual. Nah, rapper. she's she's beyond. I don't. She's beyond that. It's something else. It's well, I'm gonna give it a green. Yeah, shoot. Track eight. Track eight. Show me love featuring Miguel. All Come right. back, baby. Where the love? Where the love at? Ah, I've heard this. 
I didn't. I haven't heard the Miguel version. I oh, watched you're her. right. Yeah, actually, I love this record. Okay, I, I was like, I was so confused because honestly, we talked about Beyonce so long ago. This wasn't Alicia Keys album. Tripping. I was like, what's going on? You're like, wait a minute. Oh shit! How do we okay. get here? But nah, uh, I watched her Tiny Desk from not too long ago. Like yeah. she posted one like maybe a month ago or a month or two ago, uh-huh. and this was like the first song she did. This is hard, and it was acoustic. So yeah. Yeah, uh, green for me. Definitely, definitely. I'm I'm excited about what Miguel is going to sound like in this pocket and with a studio version because I'm guessing that there might oh, be... Oh, so you never heard like the actual... So I've never heard studio version. I heard gotcha. the acoustic. Yeah, no, nah, it's great. <clears throat> All right. right. So that's the green again. Let's go to track nine. What quarter is it? Did I say the boom? Oh, so done. The boom. Hey, you got some glasses over there? <laughs> Hey man, I ain't look. I ain't even supposed to be reading it. I'm just trying to be extra. It's it's okay. I'm not gonna cap. I'm extra. supposed to wear glasses too. What do you say? Yeah, what quarter is it? It's two minutes and a half. Bro, I got I'm not surprised. I'm not either. He pissed off about not getting, oh, rather only getting 16 first place uh, votes for out MVP. of 101. You say Ambroni? He's not mad about that. Just, he's not mad about that. <laughs> I don't think he's mad about that at all. He, he probably, probably he probably slapped him, but like <laughs> oh yeah, he definitely like was like I guess now he he's not for real he's not in the bubble so mama mama had to slap him or something but you still. you missed the close fans but close friends button for real that's, right that's right bro it could have been one of his close friends that put him out there like oh man Bronny tripping that was the funniest video I had ever seen which one of Bronny hitting the gas oh I only saw like <laughs> I might have seen like a gif of it or something I didn't I didn't watch the whole thing. <laughs> Because the funny thing is, he was shouting his dad out. <laughs> the judge said, we smoking that Nuggets pack. <laughs> he was like, yeah, dad, bust their ass. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. I didn't, I didn't even know. That's funny. A cold killer, I didn't want to believe it at first. Because yeah. I was like, oh, that might just be another kid that just has the same facial structure as Bronny. You know, little black boys kind of look yeah. the same until they get to like 18. <laughs> They you do. know what? You know what's mad funny though. I don't. know. Maybe that's not the way to describe it. I know you already know where I'm about to go with this. Have you seen the clips of him when he's live streaming and playing the games? Uh, who, Bronny? Yeah. Some of them. Why? What's so you know, like on Twitch, if you pay extra money, it'll read your what you write, mm-hmm. and they stay asking him about Zaya. <laughs> He'd be like, do you, "Do you and Zaya have sleepovers?" He's just like, "Yo, what is wrong with y'all?" And like, just mad, wild, inappropriate stuff. And to be how old is he? Like 14, 15, and like still keeping his cool or as much as he can. But, yo, people go at them. But in the same note, like, they're paying extra money to be able to say reckless uh, things. So at yeah. one point, it's like, all say, right, to be honest, you put it in my pocket. But it's like, it's That alone it's is probably why Brian ain't tripping off of him hitting the gas. He's like, to be probably. honest, son, I'd probably hit it if I could, too. <laughs> but they watching me a little bit harder. Uh, I know you stressed. He's until- 15 with 2 million followers on Instagram for no reason. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Five. That's even worse. I mean, go ahead, pull it up. Stat man, stat man. Five million Come on, Jamie. followers. <laughs> He's five on what? Million followers on five point seven. He's had an Instagram for like a year. Wait, he had how many in twenty four hours? Like a million likes. Wow. Like, cause Bron wouldn't let them have social media because he was like, sense. they're gonna like they're gonna destroy y'all. And then like the first day they could have it, boom, millions, million. Like it was just like that makes sense. That's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, well, it's like Bella Thorne and OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Two facts. million a day. It's facts. He broke the system. Apparently, she's, she's supposed to be using the money to like donate to other folks, but then like that whole she was gonna keep it and do a film, and then they called her on her bluff because she fucked it up, and then she was like, "Oh, I'm probably oh, I'm sorry," because she got caught. That's all that happened. I she mean, got caught. but like, it's it's <sighs> people was already doing it. She just got caught. <laughs> nah, no, nah, it's not that. But like, they were, from what I read, they were mad that a celebrity was jumping in this other, this other's pocket and, and ended up taking money from the folks who are already doing OnlyFans. And my thing is like, at some point, there's al- there's always gonna be some small percentage of folks who just dominate any given field, right? So like, just because if you're mad, then like part of it is step your game up. No, that's part of it. That's literally it. And as I was saying before, the people was doing it before. Yeah, like. She was just the one that like capitalized, capitalized on it. She's like too famous. Yeah, pretty much. There were celebrities that had pages before, just no one cared. <laughs> on OnlyFans? Like, yeah, I want to see you naked. <laughs> like, Who are you talking about, dog? 
We'll talk after. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what do we get this right? Like? Um, show me love or it's green, right? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna, we're on so done now. Track <clears throat> nine, featuring so Khaled. Down. D- K- Why is it back on this buzzer? I don't know what's going on. No, whatever. Damn. At first, I thought you meant like DJ Khaled, but then once I heard the guitars, I was like, oh, Khal- Khaled. <laughs> Another Khaled, one. Whatever his name yeah, is. You, you need to put that down on the sample list, too. Skinny fat dude with the beard. Another the one. High top scruff fade. Is he a skinny fat dude or is he a fat dude that wears skinny jeans? He's a skinny fat dude because he's like fat up top, but he's like skinny down low. <laughs> like the uh, like the two stick popsicles? Yeah, he's kind of. Right. He's built like a smaller, uh, a much much smaller wisdom tooth what <laughs> yo what are you talking about he's built like a smaller wisdom tooth like he's not as big up top but he's not as skinny down low but it's like a canine he's built like a canine <laughs> <laughs> hey, yes. look at his body i think i think you you mean a, he's built like a molar but i hear you yeah okay yeah he's built like a molar <laughs> he's built like a cavity induced molar oh my god it's like crevices and whatnot that's what i'm saying he's not that big yo is that a, like is that a romper he's chunky yeah <laughs> they got a pink romper you know why he's wearing a romper <laughs> yo you know why he's wearing a romper though because if he was wearing <laughs> pants romper. and a shirt the gut would tuck he needed it to be smooth i told you he was kind of pudgy Bro. look at him look at his legs his oh, knees god. are kind of touching hey was i with you the other no it wasn't i was with you the other together. day when a uh it was it was a challenger came around the corner His and I realized that the together. challenger the challenger if you look at it from the back it looks like like fat dudes that are not need. Have you noticed that? Yeah, <laughs> I was laughing so hard. Yeah, because if you look at a challenger, the body is mad wide, so like it has hips, but then the tires are skinny, and so it's <laughs> towards yeah, the middle this, looks this like exactly somebody yeah. walking around not need. Yeah. <laughs> and the funny thing Why, about the challenge, see? the funny thing about challengers is they can't put the power down, so they just be sitting there spinning. Because they ain't got no tires. They ain't got no grip. You see what I'm talking about? (laughs) Yes, you do. Stop hating. Be over there, Kevin. Go ahead. Take that screenshot so we can use it later. Take Um, the cap off. All right. So they came in on the duet, though. I thought that was smooth. That is smooth. Yeah, that was smooth. He's he's that, based off of how it sounded, that is his pocket. Like that that vibe is his pocket. So I think that would present. Side note, I I also love Khaled's music, so. But we still gonna make jokes. I um, hated location. Send me your location. I hated that song. Was that the? I got something on one of my playlists. Where's my your phone Your location. At? I spoke oh, song. Oh, you didn't like communi- that? Ca- no. Yeah. Overplayed before I even heard it. Oh, so could you be what? Could you like listen to radio and stuff, huh? No. So I, where did it get overplayed at? Just around, bro. It was on commercials. It was like oh yeah. Movies, see, I don't like. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't watch TV or nothing. So when I, I found it, I was just, I found it like never having heard anything. So I was like, oh, I don't kinda watch tight. TV neither. That's how you know. Uh, it well, was just the TV would be on in the house. No, yes, apparently man. I'm a hermit. When his album came out, I don't live with nobody. You so don't got to worry about what somebody else yeah, is watching. Not, Go ahead. Not a hermit, you're just a nomad. <laughs> no, that's just wrong. Nomads mean you move around a lot. Yeah. You don't have one place. But um, nah, because when he dropped the album, the American Teen Joint, it was a whole bunch of promo on TV and stuff. Because this was like. 2017 i want to say yeah about 2017 streaming and stuff was starting to become a thing 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 and i just remember a hectic amounts of advertisement for like spotify and apple music with american teen and him with his white linen shirt like blowing while he's like on the beach with yeah. his scruffy high top fa- you can't have a scruffy high top fade it's either got to be sharp Meaning but you I thought neck what, it on the side. Just, wasn't just the top scruffy? No, it was all scruff around. Oh. Like it was like in it was like a bush, it was like a hedge that needed to be cleaned up a little bit. Like oh. it was still it still had the shape, but it's like <laughs> My man started his business. Now he got oh, his yeah. good I got everything. His good yard. You feel me? <laughs> yard work metaphor. No cap. Because I did like forty <laughs> bushes yesterday. No cap. Literally. I love it. I love it. There's some good bushes too. Oh, check goodness. my check my page. It's just looking fire. They were. I'm not even going front. I was like, this man did this. It was like nine in a row. You know how hard it is to make nine bushes look good in a row? Because you eventually going to fuck up one. 
I, I know. Hand. I know you don't. Steady. Smack you with this thing. I feel like my joints just be shaking. Look at that. Moving all around. It's like I put it on the table when I put my hand. Put your hand down. You need to be pressing buttons. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, track 10, oh, Gramercy man. Park. <clears throat> Ain't nobody going to work for me. Bro, you know how hard I had, I had to I had to stop myself from stopping it after about six seconds. White, white. I have red. This, so that's red. a red dog. Yeah, we're not biased because she's a. I kind of I liked how the drum sound, huh? That's a red. <clears throat> nah, it, I like yeah. how the drum sounded, but that guitar sounded like honestly like uh what's it, what's that music um bluegrass and all. Yeah, it's yeah. it's the same drum pattern from Japanese denim, the uh, Daniel Caesar song. Yeah. My blue jeans. Have you ever heard that before? Nope. Oh, well, we gotta do a Daniel Caesar album. Let's get it. If he's not still canceled, by, let's get uh, it. Black people because oh. of his remarks about black women. What do you say? I don't remember. What do you say? I don't know again? why all the ugly black dudes be saying some shit about dark skinned women. Like, bro, there's a reason <laughs> you wasn't getting no play. <laughs> it's not. What do you say? I don't remember what he said. What he said? Like what'd he, he say? was just saying, like, just shit about how like. Black women need to get on. Come on, Jamie. Just, just, you know, just black women need to do things. They need to be on board with more stuff. Black you know, man ish. And it's just like, bro, you ugly. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not that they're not on board with you. You just ugly. I, okay. So I'm ugly too. It's okay. <laughs> that, that brings up, like, you know, like, you know, people. Yeah, if you're attractive, you get away with more shit. That's just a fact. Or if you're good at what you do, you get away with stuff. Like, exactly. People like It's not what always they fair, like. but... Yeah, like, um, people gonna like who and what they like at the end of the day. So it's like, you can't get mad at nobody because they don't like you. you just not their cup of tea. It is what it is. Now, oh, you don't gotta play it. What's, what do you say? Oh, there's no, like, transcription? Dang, if I had a um, if I had another cord, I could plug you in. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll talk at some point. But yeah, he got canceled for a little while because he made some remarks about black women. Like, I feel like in a racial yeah. dating or something like that. So is it? And people, okay, people always say this, right? They always say that like black folks are the only people that call each other out in public, like the men and the women, right? So is it that we're the only folks that do it, or is it that no one pays attention when anybody else does it? Now, granted, granted, this is also coming behind um. My man just got uh, banned from the CBA the other day. Ooh, who? Um, <laughs> Dang, what's his name? Can you look at look it up? Um, player banned from the CBA because he on his Instagram story he put low key Chinese woman got cakes, and then the next picture was him in a strip club. Huh? Ty yeah, Ty Lawson. Yeah, he I'm got, not he got, surprised. He got banned from the CBA, I'm right? Not surprised. So he he writes that, and the next picture is like him sitting down. It's, but it's, he, I might be from the mirror. And then um, Shorty has her hands on the ground and like is sitting in his lap and like he's done. I'm talking about like one day to the next, right? So like that's an extreme example of no one's gonna speak ill publicly of either side or whatever. You know, Ty Lawson went to McNamara. I did not know that. And he is best friends with one of my best friends' older brother. Like, yeah, like close, close. Like, come to the wedding. Like, pop up if you in if you in town, come to the cookout. Close. All right, but. He's probably not going to see this, but I got to tell this funny story <laughs> because uh, this, even I laughed. <laughs> because... So my friend's brother was getting married a few years ago yeah, and he was inviting people to his wedding and he wanted Ty to be one of his best men because he was like, yeah, you've been my homie since high school. We both went to McNamara together. Yeah. We got close. <clears throat> Mind you, this is Ty Lawson of like two, maybe, I'm not two, three. I'll say about four or five years ago. So he's about of the same status he is now, getting kicked out of the CBA. <laughs> yeah. All right. What I, I heard, I overheard a conversation between uh, my friend's older brother and uh, I think their mom or like one of their friends. They was in the kitchen talking. He's like, "Yeah, man, I invited Ty, and he was talking about, yo, I'm honored, I want to come, but I don't want my celebrity to overshadow your wedding." And he was like, "Nigga, what? What do I know you?" <laughs> Cause you know Ty Lawson like five nine, like it it ain't like a six oh, four God. yoke nigga about to walk in. If anything, they're gonna think one of his drug dealer friends because he tatted up, he kind of yeah. chubby. 
That's <laughs> like, funny. Like, oh god. And that just made me laugh because I was like, that's yeah, that's that, how you know he really from Maryland. Cause like facts. his Maryland friend was like, you're not that important. <laughs> facts. Uh, yeah, that then the then the getting banned makes so much more sense. Yeah. Now. But uh But yeah, they don't play that over there. You can't you can't you can't talk negative about yo. They play that anywhere. It's called nah outside but, of but, here. But culturally it's about saving face. So Not like yet. you don't you don't speak ill about anybody in public. You handle your stuff yeah. in also, secret. Also, you um the red was track ten. Oh, I don't remember. What did we give Khaled? Can we get that? They came with the duet. It was either, what did we give him? Do you remember? I give him a uh, blue. Oh, yeah. Do we, do we need to run it back to make sure? No, nah, I remember. It was like Are you sure? guitars, and then they came in. They were about to say a word. Just imagine a Khaled song. That's what it sounds like, bro. <laughs> okay, play it. <laughs> Was I wrong? <laughs> Blue. One day y'all gonna believe me on the first track. I got you. So then the track ten was the red. Yeah. All right. All right. But, all right, um, all right. What was I about to say? I don't, I don't even know. remember. Um. Oh. Oh yeah. It was about uh, black people calling each other out. Oh yeah. Relationship yeah. wise, I feel like thing with black people. The problem is not even relationship wise though. <laughs> just, just in period. General, yeah. Like I we f- always the first be like that's why I was like fam. Yeah. Because black people love to complain because we have the right to generalizing wait what 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 do you mean um being in america yeah and just the plight of black people in america you have the right to complain but that doesn't mean that That's interesting your complaints mean anything it's like you can kind of just get your bars off because yeah. it's like it's understood that we have been generation generationally wronged like yeah. for decades so it's like if you got some shit to say nine times out of ten there's truth rooted in it you're not just like yeah it's not just like you're not full just cap. like oh nah, nah, nah. so i think black people what was yeah. that oh, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> so i think black people appreciate the fact that they get their bars off but in that same in that same breath like usually if somebody black calls out somebody black their first thing to do is respond and be like ah well, what about like Black people don't like to take, like, I don't want to say blame, but it's like owning up to the shit that you're being called. Yeah, accountability is the word I'm looking for. (sighs) And part of it is, there's black people that do take accountability, and then usually you don't hear it. Like, somebody will say something to them, and then they fix it, and then it goes on from there. But motherfuckers that don't ever want to just acknowledge, hey... I fucked up or hey maybe this isn't the move they always want to bring everybody else because there's there's unity in in the struggle right right but the the I mean I get all the reasons why and you know people not wanting to take accountability or whatever whatever but the question the the real question though is like is it is it primarily a black us thing? that that does that or is it just that we ignore other people when they do it or <laughs> or is it just put on front street like I think you know, it's, unbeknownst to us. I think, honestly, it's mostly an American thing. I don't think it's just black. I think it's an American thing. And I think because we're American, we view it as being more black than anything else for the simple fact that we're Americans. And it's just like, you know, you understand what I'm trying to get at? like Kind of, but like I've never, I don't recall ever seeing in media like uh latino person being like i don't know just making disparaging con com comments on <laughs> disparaging comments about, about Latino latinos women. yeah yeah you know what i'm saying like it just i don't but here's the, the difference is latinos i've heard it like in and, private though oh for sure in private i mean everybody says fucked up shit in private but the thing about latinos is they still have their original country and their original culture and values and stuff like black people in the united states don't have original culture do we want to do you want to dig in that hole right now not really do we want to dig in that hole right now Franco? not really do we want to go there we don't need to go there but like it's a part of my point because like going well, back can, to being americans can, I, can he know can i grab a handful of dirt on it real quick go ahead man most of us are from here most of us are from here no like period like as far back as someone could could figure it out that is facts a very small percentage of us actually came over on boats 
at any point. You understand what I'm saying? Like what I'm saying okay, is Okay, I know yeah, 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 yeah. A a very a very Ooh. most black people in America are indigenous to America. Period. Right? That is facts. And there's multiple reference points. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just touch on real light. One is like if you look at the original um the the explorers journals when they draw pictures it's like me you and franco in loincloths long hair feathers whatever like just yeah that's it right and then somehow it transitioned right so there's that part the other part is in other places where there was uh i think most most african slaves went to brazil right Mm -hmm. like the overwhelming majority of them went to brazil brazil is black as hell right and they also continue there's a continuity of uh, practice of African spiritual um, heritage, mm-hmm. like religions and stuff. <laughs> there's none of that here. There's some in Cuba, even in, even in Colombia, where there's a lot of uh, where they're literally they understand their their direct African heritage. Like, who do you know as black that practices any kind of African spirituality? I don't. Right. So there's that. I mean, in Haitians too, right? Some some Haitians do. But the other thing is, look at uh, Mardi Gras or crop over or whatever you want to call it on whatever one of those Caribbean islands, what do they do? They dress up in feathers and headdresses and they beat drums. Like that's what we're told is a Native American tradition, but somehow no one ever makes the connection that that's what we do every year, every single year. People come from all over the world to come watch that, but very few people actually make that connection. Yeah, like, but so I, that's what I'm saying. No, I, like, I so we, we are American Americans. We are. Not like, and I agree with what you're saying and I hear what you're saying, but what I'm saying no, is no, no, no. You gotta I'm fucking me. with you. You gotta hear me. <laughs> what I'm saying is that I like your point makes sense because those people was brought over on boats and then they all fucked each other here and now the rest of us are Americans because that all shit happened here. So that makes sense. And and it is an account for all the slave masters and shits and just all that. So yes, I feel that. But what I'm saying is why I feel like the cultural shit is a little bit different is because Brazil is no longer uh is it still counted as like well, a colony? A, a colony? No. But they speak Portuguese. And they speak Portuguese. Well but I mean that's I'm the Spanish same, same reason why we speak English. We speak English, they speak Portuguese. You know, Colombia is Spanish. Colombia Spanish Cuba Spanish Spaniards Spain. Dominican Republic Spanish they speak Spanish. Haiti's yeah. French. And I just how can I put this? A lot of the countries you named, yeah, excluding Brazil because it's part of the greater South America. But it could possibly even be including Brazil too. I'm not the greatest at my history right now. But all these countries you named, I feel like in my point, at some point there was a war for their like independence there. At yeah. some point, U.S. Maybe unsure. I mean, we had one too, but it was like a different context. Yeah, it was a complete different context. It was like, hey. Can we like not work on y'all fields for nothing? <laughs> and it was like, all right, bet. But uh, if I catch you outside, you're going to jail. Then that was yeah. the improvement. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, th- it's like you're right, but I feel yeah. Like I guess it's I guess the point different. I'm ultimately making is just that like like I I agree that that maybe some part of it. No, I definitely see it comes point. out of like not having our own culture, but I think that what people fit to realize it like part of the reason that is is because we just don't know collectively it's like all this shit is ours like period it's not even that we don't know it's the fact that like we're trying or at least it was right (laughs) motherfuckers know it's just they think i don't think they do nah they know you know how i know they don't they just don't i got in i got into a discussion with um with jay about this because i i um was following uh i still do following raspy on on IG and he was talking about all of us have indigenous heritage and I was like what so I called my dad I was like yo has anyone ever said that you know someone in our family is Indian he's like yeah call your aunt call my aunt she got a picture of the homeboy right so then we're having this discussion in um in the office and Jada's there and I was like man most of us are actually indigenous like Jada you got indigenous heritage he's like yeah we Seminole straight like no hesitation but unless he's asked specifically then he's gonna be like no I'm black and then most folks like they just are what they appear to be. But he's one of those rare exceptions where like he, he knows and understands like his direct lineage. Right. But like, you don't necessarily, I don't know if he goes to like his, you know, powwows and and tribal congregations and stuff like that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I think that like somehow or another, you know, it got, it got 
ousted from, you know, our culture. Because there's even stories of like, of, you know, grandmas or whatever, not sharing that knowledge because they felt like it was a negative thing. Right. So then over the years, we end up forgetting that like, nah, we actually been here on this land, like doing our thing before. So all these stories they said, all the stories they tell are largely about us. Yeah. And like, so now we're just kind of in this cloud, this nebulous cloud where we yeah. don't know but anything. What you said about grandmas, like not saying shit because they think it's a bad thing. That is that training of the mind to saying yeah. that telling me about my heritage is a bad thing is what I'm talking about is why we don't know is because mm. we've constantly been told in this country that like y- try to be like the white guy like he is the ex- like that's where you want to be you want to live keep up with the white man and yeah. then gradually it was like all right there's a black dude he looks black but he's still doing all the white dude shit follow him he has what you want to do and now now we're starting to get to a point where people are like all right who the fuck am i like where do i come from what what do i mean right like, that's what where i was and that's how and i ended up in the conversation with my dad and my aunt yeah and now it's like weird yeah that's kind of the point i was trying to make it's like yeah. I, it's all I confusing agree. we are from indigenous here, but the original traditions are like lost lost because well, white people came here it's well, whenever there the it's things funny happened because they're they're lost but they're not um dang I, I gotta think of a really good analogy because like they still come out in all the things that we do but like we don't know where they originally came from like you know that like when they dig up it's like that homie that goes to the club and can dance real good but it's like it's like bro why don't you like dance and it's like mm, it's just, I, I, I can't do. dance it's like in his mind he can't dance, but when y'all be watching me fucking it up, and his like it's like I'm not trained though, and it's like you don't gotta be trained, nigga. You nice or the homie that can fight, they be knocking niggas out, but it's like he won't be a boxer because he's like I ain't trying to get hit, and it's like you'll never bruh. get hit, but <laughs> it's kind of where I'm going with this is like when you think of grill culture, right? Grill grills, yeah. Like smile yeah. for me, daddy. Yeah. Okay. Where like what region of the country do you think of? Houston, Memphis. Cool. So just take Houston. Houston's in Texas. Texas, formerly part of Mexico. Do yeah. you know what they find when they dig up Mayan uh, mummies and stuff? Gold teeth. Not even go- not only gold teeth, but where they drilled holes in their teeth and put diamonds. Gem- yeah, all yeah. kinds like no, I, emeralds and all that stuff. I knew that. So from it's back like in Africa. That's that mean? was the sign of like wealth, like weight, like in the like in the Mansa Musa days, like having gold teeth and shit like that. Haitians, they still do that shit to this day. Like in theirs, it looks a little dirty, right, but so like, it's that's still... what I'm saying though. But like when you're looking, when we see that in hip hop or when it's, when it's uh, uh, promoted, it's not, it's not promoted as a connection to like our, our like thousands of year old heritage. Yeah. It's just like, Oh, it's a regular shit. So I'm saying like, we haven't really lost it. We just don't know it's exactly what we don't have. Us. We don't have context for what we're already doing is what I'm it's saying. It's being hidden from us. Yeah. But when I saw the joints, when they digging up the, 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 the Mayan mummies and stuff, and they had all like, not just the metal, but they had the, the gemstones in their teeth. Yeah. Like, nah, yeah. that's, that's in our blood. It's not no regular, yeah, nah. like who else does that? It, yeah. No nah, facts. That's, but, but that's what I was saying It's shit. And then, you see the power and what we do, but they tell us, no, nah, you got to be like the white dude. See, the white dude got all the money. He got right. this, that, and the third. So then people are like, fuck, I got to get some money. Let me act like the white dude. So it's like they're blatantly being hidden. Of course. Dang. Not not even like being taken. It's just like, don't pay attention to this. Do like what we doing. And it's like, oh, yeah. okay. Uh, yeah. That's why I be like, man, stop listening to these niggas, man. Go do your thing. Facts. Dang, we yeah. just got like, we got pretty deep real quick. A little bit. A little uh, bit. We'll try to 11. 11. What the name, Adia? Love looks better. Love looks better. This sounds like mm. one of the intro songs to the next season of Dancing with the Stars. Sounds like Ye made it, but like, mm, no. It sounds like, like someone tried to make it sound like Ye made it. Okay, I'll give you that. Yeah, it looks there was he was trying to go mad theatrical, yeah. but homeboy couldn't get the key chords to hit Mm-mm. right, so it's just like nah. uh, then he put the little yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Like, exactly. Uh, that's yays. Yeah, Somebody I'm gonna be like these guys are promoting conspiracy theories. Yeah. And I'm gonna uh, be like y'all need to read some books. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, Caucasian. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Do a little Caucasian on that. Track 12. 
12. You Save Me featuring Snow Allegra. What'd you say? We did. Caucasian. With the white. 11. They white. Get, it gets green, blue. You gotta keep up with my dialect, brother. Green, blue, white. <laughs> yeah. he, should, he should know better right now. I make up words every other day. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what the name is, John? You Save Me. You Save Me featuring Snow Allegra. Shout out to Snow. It's just Snow. Snow? Yeah. You no, know, it looks like Snow. You almost pulled that off, though. Snow Allegra. Snow. <laughs> He so tried no. to say it all soft. So no. ah. Hey, cause hey, all right. <laughs> I like, I like, I like where this is going. I do too. You know, it'd be hard if for no reason at all, it just got real like bouncy. Like it's just like like, boom, boom, like boom, boom, trap boom, bouncy. Yeah, except not like trap trap. Like like. Like, you know, like I was thinking like, the same thing, but I was thinking like Boom Bap Bouncy because that reminds me of uh, her first album when she did the cover of Brooklyn Zoo. I guess one of my favorite Alicia records what was that Songs in A Minor. Yeah, I'll go. Uh, Why are you frowning like that? You just don't know what I'm talking about, huh? Mm-mm. You don't know nothing. Um, <sighs> touche, touche, touche. Was that track 12? What's so what we giving that? I'm feeling kind of green about it. Like, I want to hear it. Yeah, I want to hear how it plays, pans out. But the sad thing is, I feel like if it doesn't pan out how I think it's going to pan out, then I'm going to feel You're going to be mad. Good. It's all good. It's just 10 seconds. Yeah, you know what's funny? Is. I have no context for Snow Allegra. Really? All I know <laughs> is that that uh, Joe Budden has a crush on her and Brandy. That's it. I've never, I don't think I've ever heard any of her records. She's, she's a good singer. She's oh. really good. She's really talented. I was put on to her by one of my friends. Word? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. okay. Track 13 is... Uh, titled Jill Scott and it's featuring I, Jill Scott. I thought that said Jeff Bezos. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to press play. <laughs> Yo, that's hard. I see he's already right. <laughs> he already knew what it was. That's a, that's a green yeah. out the gate. That was really, really dope. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was, mm, yeah, that was, that was that vibe. That was that that's modern like modern '70s, like you know. Dun, 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 yeah, you know what that sounds like. Piano. It sounds like it sounds like um, like that could also be in Anderson Pack's pocket, but like yeah. he 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 does it a little more dirty. <laughs> like that one, that that was like a real clean. Like like, how can I how can I put this? Like that was like if you took if Anderson Pack's records were like a car, and you took them and got that like seven layer wax. That was like the '76. Um, vet stingray top down driving on uh Pacific Highway, but it it got the mirror finish on the paint though. Oh yeah, All shiny, that. shiny, white walls around the rims. You feel me? Something like that, real smooth. Got on the sunglasses with the uh, circles. Nice linen shirt, long sleeve. See, and the, but the Anderson pack would be with the the hard top with the uh with the with the hydraulics in it. Anderson Pat, I think he's in the, the 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 cut the drop top. I think he's cop chopping the top. I don't think he can hit switches. He's weird. Anderson <laughs> Pack is a weird dude. <laughs> you don't think he can hit switches? Nah. It's a switch. <laughs> I mean, he can hit them, but I don't think he knows how to. Like, you got to know how to hit switches. Like, I mean, it's a skill. Yeah. I learned this from Snoop. Like, it ain't, you don't just go in and it'll flip and then it's like, ooh, front. Nah, like you got to like, cause it's like a bounce. You got to think. You got to like bounce with the car. Cause if you're just going hydraulically, it's it's weird. It's a rhythm to it. Not saying that he can't pick up the rhythm because my man plays saying, drums and instruments, but I don't think he flips switches the way you think he flips switches. So what I was thinking was like, you know, on training day mm. where, you know, my man's don't, he don't drive down the street flipping the switches. He just hops in the car, sits in it, zip, 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 and then he pulls off riding, you know, riding up elevator. That's, that's what that. I mean. I don't even think he You don't think that. so? I think his is. Well, I'm, I'm just saying that's what it, like, it that's what his like, version of this record would sound like. I think I, okay, I I see what you're saying. I still think like a he would more. be in the '76 uh, Stingray Corvette with the drop top, with either the red gloss finish with the white walls around the rims, or with the shiny finish, like you saying, driving on Pacific Highway. PCH. Girl, yeah, girl in the side seat just stretched out. She's not like high enough, and she's just high off the air. And the, like you know, you know how girls just be in the passenger side. The car, convertibles just be like, mm. it's like, what are you fucking flowing for? I ain't even driving that fast. But <clears throat> hey, but All we can right. go green on that. 
All right. Yeah. yeah that's that's green. definitely green. So we at track 14. Track 14. Perfect way to die. Perfect way to die. That last song was honestly the perfect way to die. Is this the James Bond record? Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? Just ended on track 12 with that Jill Scott joint. Magical. I feel like it's about to be a ballad. And you know what? I'm not a ballad dude. Yeah. That's uh That's a white. Yeah, it's a white. I'll give you that. That sounded like a lullaby that she wanted to like th- make theatrical. Good like, job, bro, Larry. If you're trying to put the baby to sleep, put the baby to sleep. Right. All right. Next joint. It's called Good Job. Track. Even better 15. than I was the last time, baby. Ooh, 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 I'm good. Ooh, so good. Uh, chance to rapper, acid rap. We should do acid rap. Track fifteen. That sounds very uh, this girl is on fire esque. Very woman powerful, very woman power centric. Yeah, nothing wrong with being a <laughs> this woman. called good power job. centric, but so I wonder because the last two records were ballads, and I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I'm being biased or if they actually just feel like they just are out of place. Yeah, they they seem <clears throat> just like oh, I don't have any ballads on here. Let me stick these on the end. Because honestly, ending with the Jill Scott like that would have been. Five. Man, I gotta listen to this album again. Yeah, now it, I'm just like, end uh, that. that's the thing. We have we've been on a string of albums that have had great ending songs. Yeah, like like the Conway Joint was magic. The Conway Joint was magic. Uh, the, the knowledge, the whole, yeah, and this yeah. is the <laughs> yeah, this is fire. Yeah, but uh, yes, yeah, it seems like she tried to end this with like a bang, but she was like, I'm gonna make it like a real emotional bang, and it's like. Most bangs right, aren't emotional. People forget that, like, happiness is also an emotion. We would be like, oh, I'm so emotional. It's always yeah, going to be sad. Like, can you can be end. emotional and be happy and turned up. No, facts. You always leave the court on a make. Right. You don't leave it on a detrimental foul. <laughs> Unless you're Patrick Beverly. All right. <laughs> facts. What's the uh, score? Or Ron Artest. Or Andrew Bynum. To <laughs> 67 to what? Oh, 60 to 70? Bronzo. Hey, man. LeBron James has been the MVP of the year for the last... He's over there being arrogant like he's playing. 19 years. He's only been playing 17 because two years they oh, were yeah. just waiting for I was going to bring that up earlier when you were talking about Bronny and his 5 million followers. His dad was on the cover of ESPN Magazine when he was still in high school. Facts. But his dad was the number one high school player in the world. Bronny is like unranked and a freshman. He's in the same class as my nephew. And I try to explain to my nephew that if he actually played like he wanted to hurt somebody, he would probably be Oh, ranked. yeah, that's... That's how you get ranked. Yeah. That, that you just have to be aggressive it's too and casual. like an asshole. That's it. No, yeah. yeah. You, they don't care about the dudes that like are trying to be team players until you get to college. High yeah. school, just be an asshole. That's who makes tape. Go try to dunk on everybody. Yeah. Go block every shot. Go try to make somebody fall. That's what they want to see. And then when you get to college, they're like, all right, you can do all that cool stuff. Now be a team player. All right. And then that's why most dudes fall off. You got to play in the spent, system. Yeah, most I spent the last 15 years of my life trying to be an individual boss. Now you got me coming seventh off the bench. I don't know this life. It's just, it's all. I'm going to mess with the Beckys. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> Facts. appreciate y'all checking in. Yeah, man. I got 11% left. Yeah. Can I got to rate. Oh, yeah. Double whites. Oh, yeah. I got to do this, right? One, two. One stinky winky ah ah ah, two stinky winky ah ah ah, three stinky winky ah ah ah. How many if you didn't grow up watching Sesame Street, don't talk to me. You know they have a tiny desk. Sesame Street has a tiny desk. It's fire! I got so happy. 
We gotta pull up that link, dog. No, I honestly got so happy. I don't know why. Like that sounds it's amazing. Not, it's not great singing. It doesn't it's matter. The, it's the Sesame it doesn't Street have characters. To be. It's babies in there, but I was just like smiling. Like I could feel the. I got warm. Inside. You could feel the joy. See, I'm talking about joy is an emotion. You're getting like, emotional. I was just like sitting there. Yes, I thought I was gonna cry. I don't know yeah. why. <laughs> like I just thought I was gonna cry because I was so happy. Yeah, happy things make it was, you. Uh, it was lit. It was so lit. Cry sometimes. Is it two blues? Mm-hmm. Blue moon. <sighs> All right. Um, Eight greens. Mm-hmm. Two blues. Mm-hmm. Four, Four whites. Four whites and one red. One red. So, as we like to remind people, <clears throat> the pocket is eight to ten. Eight to ten? I would say eight to twelve. You know what? Those numbers popped in my head before I said it, and I was like, nah, that range is too big. I think that we've done so many good albums lately that it's skewed it a little bit. Because it's, it's, you can pull off 12, but like a strong pocket is that, that 8 to 10. Strong is definitely 8 to 10, 9 to 11. Can you pass me range? Um, I'll yeah. Some, I'll do some math real quick. Yeah, I was about to say, I forgot it. So can you do it? You said what? I was about to say, it. I forgot it. Or I don't know it. Oh. It's like basketball, if that makes sense. Thank you, sir. And this is the oh. So what's that? Thirty-two. And this is the ending. Ending. Oh. And this is the oh. And this is the oh. Bro, are you okay over there? Nah. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So, out of a rating of... Maximum rating of three. Maximum rating of three. We're doing this new thing now. We're going to rate the albums based off of how many greens, how many blues, how many whites, how many reds, and how many blacks. So, the greens, greens are worth three. Mm -hmm. Blues are worth two. Whites are worth one. Reds are worth zero. Now, if you get three reds in a row, that's a black. Your album's done. We're not listening anymore. That's happened once so far. Matter of fact, I think it... It was th- two chains. It was. It was the... We were true, just talking about that earlier. The like uh, true universe. No face, no case. Yeah. But did we, uh, did we force it and then continue? Because mm. I think one time... It, I feel like we... I think I tried to give it a red, and you were like, hold on. No, 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 no. You can't just give them three reds in a row. And I was like, we earned it. And I was like, let's just go to the next one. And then it was like, no, nah, red. Yep. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Um, so yeah, two point uh, one three out of three. Uh, Conway, by contrast, two point seven. Yes, sir. Out of three, strong. Yeah. So we'll start posting those. Yes, yes. Some ratings so that you uh, know how we feel about the album overall. Yeah, and got that's some just metrics. Individual songs. That means that the um, that Nicole Bus is probably like a two point nine because that was like straight greens and one blue, something like that. Not nah, yeah, it was all greens and then that one like blue or white i think i don't think i don't think she had a white hmm. i really Catronado don't was definitely a three though because his was all green i think the it bubble joint been. we've had a couple like that the bubble i think was a definitely a three because yeah. matter of fact i i listened to that at least once a week that that bubble out because like Strong. if you just need to dance yeah like just need to move play that like and it's 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 a party album. Like it's one of those albums you could put on at a party and you got a playlist for an hour at least. Like, Definitely. And just let it rock. Definitely. And everybody's song just dance. It's not going to sound like it's ever the same song over and over Ooh, and over tough. again. It's beautiful. That's a 71%. 71%. That is a, uh, it's all good though. When I was in school, that was a C minus. Yeah. I had that conversation with my nephew earlier. I was like, don't be lazy. Cause it'll catch up to you. And I'm speaking from experience, because when I was in school, I discovered that uh, I test really well, and tests were half of your grades. Oh, that's lucky. So I stopped doing homework. Like, oh, yeah. I did it until I understood what was going on, and I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. And uh, I got through school. Yeah, I, I stopped doing homework at an early age, because I saw no point in it. Not a good habit. Stop it. No, you're too young to think like this in my <laughs> 20s. <laughs> You got a ways to go. But, uh, yeah, I didn't see no point in it. All right, y'all. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Thanks. We appreciate it.
And uh, see you Sanitize. next time. Wash your face. All that. Brush your teeth. Uh-huh. And still, uh, stay black. Stay beautiful. Stay whatever race you are. Unless you're not black. Yeah. Whatever stay you, you are, be you. All that. Be you.